guys welcome back so today we're gonna go over the slip stitch so um, the slip stitch normally used to join in the rounds or just to create a very small stitch um, sometimes you use it to finish off or join things together but we're gonna go ahead and get started with that so you know how to do that all right let's go all right so let's get started with a slip stitch so first off we're gonna make our slip knot put it on our hook pull through we're going to chain one two three four five six so for a slip stitch you are going to skip the first chain from the hook insert in pull up a loop and then instead of yarning over again you're just going to pull that loop through through the first loop so let's do that again so we're going to insert pull up a loop pull that loop through the first loop do it again and you can get it to where you can do it in one fluid motion, but it doesn't really matter. So. All right, so there we have it. We have a row of slip stitch. We have one, two, three, four, five. As you can see, this stitch doesn't really have a body. It's not very tall. It's mainly just a V. So we're gonna chain one and we're gonna do another row of that. So this one's gonna be a little bit harder to get your, your hook in the slip into the stitch but we're still going to do it so we see that top v we're going to slip our hook right under that top v yarn over pull through and then we're going to pull through the original loop do it again yarn over pull through pull through the original loop And then we're going to do it on the very last one. So it's kind of hard to see, but there's our last V. So we're going to try to make sure we get it under both loops of that V. We, there we go. Pull through, pull through. And there you have it. You did two rows of slip stitch. It's a very tight stitch. Um, mostly used just for joining or edging. But now you know how to do it. All right, let's move on to the next stitch. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe.